Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. In the last part, we made it here to Kiel Zabel's house here in the uh, Minch Mountain Observatory, where he is attempting to communicate with Meredy through the Melnix language, which is apparently what she speaks. And we also found out that she is from Celestia, the world we've had no contact with for over 2,000 years. So let's continue. Why Meredy come? Why come? Gibberish. Um. Turn those pages, Keel. He's lost. It's an ancient language. Even Keel can't get it all at once. I I can do it. This is no different from the research that I've done. Oh, she's looking at the telescope over there. Oh, no, it's not a telescope. It's the picture thing. Yes, that's right. On the bottom is Inferia, and on top is Celestia. In the middle is the Orbis Barrier. All this is collectively called Eternia. This is the world we live in. You see? Tales of Eternia. Told ya. <laughs> Inferia. Celestia. Boom! An explosion? No way. Inferia! Celestia! Boom! Hey, Keel, explain for us. Come over here. That's a nice telescope. We, the ladies love a big telescope. Okay, whatever. Look through here. What does this have to do with anything? Just look. Can you see the Orbis barrier? Yeah, so? I'll enlarge it. Wait, that's what she said. <laughs> What's this? The dark matter. It seems to be growing bigger by the day. And that must be why the color of the sky is different. So, what's that dark matter? A sign of world destruction. It's possible that Meredy is here to warn us of the danger. We should look into this further. Look into it? How? We've got to go see Professor Mazette. He's an authority on the Melnix language. He left Minch University, and he's currently living in Moral Village. You're kidding, right? Moral's on a whole different continent. This is getting ridiculous. I'm going with Keo. I can't just ignore Meredy. Read. <laughs> We're leaving. Are you ready? Keo, you're not much of a traveler. Are you sure you're going to be okay? That was when I was a little kid. I, I'm i fine now. We'll see. Well, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> this is going to be one long trip. Don't worry, it'll work out somehow. No problem. <laughs> Again. <sighs> Whatevs. Whatever. <laughs> Farah, to get to Moral, you have to go through the Nostus Cave. Or Nostus Cave lead located to the east of here. Oh, okay. I don't know about this. Man, Reed, stop being so freaking lazy. Jeez. Ah, well, whatever. Uh, we don't want to leave here quite yet. You probably noticed those little crates here, or these boxes, or chests, whatever you want to call them. Um, empty, 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 empty. What the frick do you have nothing for? Hey, Keel, what used to be in this box? Holy bottles. Holy bottles? Yeah, I can't get back to Minch without it. But even when you used Holy Bottle, didn't you get attacked occasionally? Well, if that happens, all you have to do is run for your life. <laughs> ah, because Keel can't fight, because he sucks. Okay. Found a Holy Bottle. Yeah, he hadn't used them all. Uh, Orbis Barrier Research Log. Uh, Grobule Physics. I don't think we care. Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, now it's just a globe. What is this? It sure doesn't look like a map of the world. Don't you know anything? This is a map of the heavens. It's Celestia's geographical features as seen through a telescope and mapped out. Wow. 
I see. So this is Celestia. Wow, they were able to map and then... <laughs> if only we could do that! You know, I don't think we have many maps of the moon. Jeez. You'd think we'd have those by now. But no, we don't. I want a freaking map of the moon. Or a map of Mars or Jupiter. What the frick is the Hubble up there for if not for mapping the moon? And there's a, a harpy. It's kind of a... It's just a stereotypical... Um, you know, anime, not 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 anime, but you know, RPG enemy. You know, they're usually flying casters, which is kind of annoying. Sonic Blade! Yay, level up, and fist up, and a new skill! Dang. Very nice, you got three things at once, Farah. Alright, um, what's gonna, we're gonna go ahead and change, oh, I'll go ahead and show Keel, just so you can see him. There you go, there's Keel, whatevs. Um, we're gonna go and change Keel. Oh, okay, he's already set, good. Attack independently. Uh, let's see here. I want to. I want you to attack. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll have you attack the weak enemies. Whatever. Um. Let's see. What do you, what do you have? You have Aqua Edge, Wind Blade, and Fireball. Uh, something that's really funny is that when Keel casts Fireball, he sounds hilarious. He sounds like really freaking stupid when he casts Fireball. It's amazing. He's like, Fireball! I'm dead serious. It's awesome. Okay. What, already? Wh Wait. Oh, okay, this is a uh, dialogue. Whoops, I didn't mean to talk over it. What? Out of breath? <laughs> as weak as ever. Give me a break. I've had insufficient sleep lately. Why don't we camp here? We still have a long ways to go. I think ya you tune din do. Don't touch me. Kill? You don't need to speak like that. You can't be too careful around people you don't know. But she could be useful. At the very least, I hope to build a solid bridge of communication. Useful? Once I gather enough evidence about the dangers of the dark matter, I can return to Minch University. Better yet, I might even be invited to join the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. So the only reason why you're so cooperative is for your own benefit. You become quite the opportunist. You're wrong. I'm simply searching for the truth, and for that I need the best environment possible. Usu tiosu, wadi ayaitun gluwaigun? Don't touch me! Is that a Kramo cage? You have one too? Keel, don't push me! I got a frickin' pole arm! We don't really need you. We have Merity to cast our spells! D don't be stupid. I'm not like those rogue Kramel students. Unlike them, I've actually studied the light Kramels. Robial distortion and caloric flow fundamentals suggest a practical scientific application. For instance... I got it, I got it. You're something else. Hmm. <laughs> no problem? Keel. Ugh. You might have already guessed, I kind of really, really hate Keel. A lot. <sighs> Nobody freaking hits Merity. <sighs> I know, I know, I'm a Merity fanboy. I got it, I got it, whatever, I don't care. Say what you want. <sighs> you and me are gonna have frick, frickin' have words over this, Keel. Gah. <sighs> we already have one caster, we don't really need you. Why don't I just chop off your, your, ahem, <laughs> Kramels? How about that? <sighs> okay. I need to, I need to destroy, I need to take some lives, okay? I need to kill something. Okay, these guys will do very nicely. Die. You see that soldier keel? That could have been you. Be thankful it wasn't, okay. I really don't like heal. 
Uh, and there are actually other reasons for me to not like Keel. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but God, I hate Keel. Okay. The only redeeming factor is the fireball thing. Whatever. All right, cave. Wow, those eggs look good. I won't sell these even for 10,000 gold. Yes, even that. They came at the par at the cost of my partner's life. What kind of eggs are those? Egg bears. Egg bears hatch Wait, egg bear eggs fetch a high price as miracle cures. I got them from the mountain, but we were spotted by the egg bear parents. You weren't very lucky. But my merchant spirit won't die here. For my partner, I will earn, earn, and earn some more. Are you interested in anything besides egg bear eggs? Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and pick some stuff up. Uh, ooh, good. Holy bottles. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I will go ahead and pick up five. Uh, holy bottles are basically the repels of this game. You can re you can kind of compare them to that. However, they are not a 100% thing. Basically, they just mean that you will get attacked less often, as opposed to not at all. Okay. So, let's go on into the cave. We got stuffs to do. We got Nostus Cave. It seems that the title movement here is affected by time. Okay, thanks. Oh, really? The first freaking room we get a fight. <laughs> All right. So we have sprites. Hey, those guys are those guys are in Tales of Destiny. Wow, that's pretty funny. It's actually the exact same enemy, same freaking animation and everything. <laughs> this sprite has the same sprite. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Not bad. And hey, at least Kiel's being useful, quote unquote. Yeah, you better frickin' keep being useful, otherwise I'll just have to kill you! Anyway, ooh, what's this? That was quick! Hey, Keel! Are you okay? Should we camp? N no I'll be fine. <laughs> We've grown and learned to say complicated stuff. But when you get right down to it, we never really change, do we? You could say that again. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'll fight you. It's all right now, Keel. <laughs> I I said it's all right. <laughs> well, at least it looks like he doesn't cry anymore. Keel, are you all right? Of uh, of course. But his adolescent charm sure is gone. Okay. Uh, Reed, I'm not gonna go ahead. I, I, I won't question that. The adolescent charm thing coming from another guy? Sure, why not? Okay. Oh, hey, Green Ropers. Remember these guys from the, um, let's see. What was that place? Uh, I'm think it's the water place from Tales of Symphonia. I can't remember what it was called. I know it was the Thoda Geyser. Oh, it was the water seal. That's it. Yeah, the water seal. Oh, awesome new skill. Please tell me it's the it's Demon Hammer. Please, 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 please. Yes, Demon Hammer. Yes. Okay. Demon Hammer is this game's version of Tiger Blade, which is pretty much my favorite skill in this entire series, at least for just regular combat. Oh, it is so useful. It is so nice just as a little combo thing. But anyway, up there you get an orange shell. That's the only reason why I went back, is just to get that orange shell. Okay, yet another fight. Uh, I'll go ahead and show Swarm and Demon... Uh, not Demon Fang. Uh, you know, what's it called? Okay, that is Swarm. See, it's uh, Sword Rain. Oh, I have it set to up. That's why I jumped. There you go. Kaboom. There you go. And, of course, 
Wait, I'll, I'll show Demon Hammer in the next fight because I want to save my TP or I get a little bit back. Because you actually go through TP very quickly in this uh, early part of the game when you don't have money to pay for orange, orange gels. So you want to save up for those. Uh, let's see. Oh, down there, I think there's a chest I can get. This place is kind of full of monsters, and here, uh, this is a brown pot. That is Demon Hammer. It's up, down. Very, very nice for combos. Because it's at easy two hits, and it puts you right back down on the ground, and it's easily linkable to other attacks, which are very good. Okay, what's this? Uh, Protector, what's that? What the heck is that, actually? Uh, items... If you get an item and you don't know where it'll be, you can just go to new and it'll be right there. So protector is armor. Cool. Um, I think that's. I think only Keel can. Uh, not Keel. Uh, you. You know, Reed can wear that. Jeez. All right, there we go. New armor for Reed. Very nice. Uh, panacea bottle. Very good. I bought a few of those off screen just to protect myself from poison, just on the off chance. Uh, how do you get over there? Ah! <laughs> There's so many fights in here. Um. I think, actually, now that we've gotten a few new skills and we've entered Nostos Cave, or Nostos whatever, I don't know what it would be, um, now that we've entered this cave here, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off. And in the next part, we will continue through this cave and hopefully not run into any egg bears. So, yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time.